Hi beautiful souls, welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel, it's Cade, and today, as you can see, I am back with another pick a card reading, and today we're going to be doing what is the future of your connection, okay, so we're really going to be tuning into what is going to be happening between you and your person over the next couple of months, or just anywhere in the near future, okay, so, um, before we get started, make sure to follow me on Instagram, okay? It's at Kate Conrad. It is also going to be linked down below. Also, make sure to check out the Amazon wish list. That is also going to be linked down below. And guys, um, make sure to check out my spiritual shop as well. So just make sure to check out all the links down below, okay? And if you are new here, how I like to do my readings is for each pile, I like to tune in with my intuition. So spirit communicates to me through signs, symbols, visions, feelings, and words. And then it's just kind of my job to interpret all of that and bring through the clear and accurate message to you guys. Um, I, of course, do shuffle tarot, and that just kind of helps me build the story and kind of see what's going on. But I also like to use my intuition as well. So today is going to be a very in-depth reading using both the cards and some channel messages um, from my spirit guides. Okay, so today, guys, we have four different piles to pick from. Okay, so go ahead and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Just make sure you're very, very grounded, okay? And think about your person and just think about your connection, okay? So pile number one, guys, is going to be the Amethyst Crystal Cluster, okay? Or the Crystal Power Tarot. So this is going to be pile one. Pile number two is the Himalayan Salt Heart, or the Light Sears Tarot. So this is going to be pile number two. Pile number three is going to be the Angel Aura Quartz. Or the Celestial Tarot. This is going to be pile three. And then pile number four is going to be the Selenite. Or the Ethereal Visions Tarot. Okay, this pile. I meant this deck all the way over here. So pile one, two, three, and four. You can take a moment here to pause the video, see which crystal or see which deck resonates with you the most, and um, I will see you guys at your pile. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number one. So if you chose the Amethyst Crystal Cluster or if you chose the Crystal Power Tarot, welcome in, guys. This is your reading on the future of your connection. Okay, so we're really going to be tuning into what's going to be happening between your, you and your person. Is there going to be a commitment? Is it going to be a marriage? Okay, we're going to tune into all of the above. Okay, um, over here I do also have some message cards as well. So we'll be shuffling these at the end just to see if there are any messages from your person. Okay, so how I'm going to go ahead and start the reading is I'm just going to tune in quickly to your energy and your connection. Okay, I'm immediately hearing the Taylor Swift song, All You Had to Do Was Stay. Okay, so it's almost as if someone has walked away here. I, I'm hearing your person did, wasn't able to see this connection. Okay, they, they just couldn't see it working out between the two of you. I feel like there is a physical distance here for some of you. Or for some reason... Your person looked very negatively at this connection, okay? They, like, didn't... I'm hearing your person is a glass, half-empty type of person. So I don't know. Th there's a very pest pessimistic type of energy coming up um, around your person. I'm hearing I didn't know what to do. Okay, I didn't know what to do. Your person, for some reason, didn't know what to do in this connection. I don't know if this was because there was some fear or just they were nervous, but it feels like your person had a lot of trouble making decisions within this connection. They've closed the door on you temporarily is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the door has been shut. I feel like you're in no contact right now or you haven't been speaking to this person, okay? We're gonna see some current energy the future of your connection. So what's currently going on for pile number one? Okay, let's see. I'm hearing I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Guys, you make this person incredibly numb, okay? And what I mean by that is like tingly. Like they felt so much for you. Like you didn't make them numb and where they didn't feel. It's almost like you made them feel so much you sort of paralyzed them. I don't know. I see your person coming up as being like very starstruck and I'm starting to get very 
um, I'm starting to get heat waves. It's like, it's almost like you made this person feel so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that song, I'm burning up for you, baby. Like, guys, I feel like almost your person did not know what to do with the way they felt about you. The Nine of Pentacles is coming up here. Guys, your person has told you that they're not ready for a commitment. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. They're, I feel like your person is like, I'm hearing better off alone. They think right now they need to be alone. Okay, I take the time I need to nurture myself. Right now, your person is taking a, a little bit of a time out from this connection. And I also feel like for some of you, this person has said to you, I need to be alone or I'm not ready for a commitment. I feel like those exact words came out of this person's mouth. I'm not ready for a commitment. I strongly feel that way. Guys, I see your person in contemplation, okay? They're thinking about you, they're thinking about this connection, but I'm hearing they're not ready to jump the gun. Like, they are not ready for an official commitment. And I don't know why this is. I'm hearing, I can, wow, okay, so you have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, here's you guys. Here's you. Okay, look at this pinnacle right beside this person's heart. You offered this person your heart. Okay, you are literally the divine feminine. Okay, coming up in this reading. Literally. Okay, but gender doesn't matter, but I feel like you literally, look at this person holding a key. You have the key to this person's heart. And I feel like you, I'm hearing you offered this person something like very solid. I'm hearing that song by Taylor Swift. Drop everything now. Meet me in the pouring rain. Like, you would literally... I'm almost getting like you would literally drop everything and compromise with this person. Like, you were so willing to compromise everything in your life to meet this person's needs, okay? And that's what I feel like. I literally feel like you put your heart out on a platter for this person. Okay, you have the Page of Wands coming up here as well. And then you have the King of Swords in the reverse. So there is this feeling of this person maybe acting a little bit cold towards you, okay? I feel like this person is acting a little bit cold towards you. And I also feel like this person is dating around is what I'm hearing. I feel like this person is coming up as a little bit of a player energy. And it's almost as if this person is so used to just kind of like one night stands is what I'm getting, or they're so used to just kind of flirting around. So when you came in and offered them something that was actually stable, they weren't ready for it. What this tells me, I feel like your person could be an air sign, but see this in the upright shows me that this person has a lot of clarity on this connection. But this in the reverse shows me they're just not quite ready to admit the feelings that they have for you. They're not quite ready to admit their truth to you. I don't think that this person has showcased you the feelings that they have for you. I'm hearing you're a knight in shining armor. Like, I don't know if this person is quite ready to be the person you need them to be. Okay, and there could also be some immaturity with this page of wands. You know, they're just not ready for the stability, I feel like, that you're offering them. Because with the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like you want to move in with this person, or you really want to develop this connection to the next level. Like, I feel like you wanted something serious with this person. I'm hearing you were not looking for careless sex, okay? And then you have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely looking for something emotional with this person. I'm hearing the Emperor and the Empress. So there, this could be a divine counterpart, guys, which is why you feel so much for this person and why they feel so much for you. But we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. Spirit, please, and thank you. Let's go ahead and clarify down the line. Okay. Okay, so... I feel like what's happened here is this person has kind of went into your past energy. I don't feel like you've been talking to this person. I feel like this person has also been reminiscing on you. So although you're not communicating with this person right now, I'm definitely getting a heavy energy. They are definitely spying on you. I'm hearing I see you. This person is watching you from afar, guys. So if you thought that this person wasn't watching you, they definitely are. I'm hearing they're keeping tabs on you. So they're definitely watching you, but th for some reason they're not coming forward with communication, okay? With this King of Swords over here in the reverse, I feel like in the upright, this is someone who communicates their truth, and when it's in the reverse, this person is not able to communicate their truth to you. 
okay? And I feel a very playful energy from your person. Like, they're not ready to... I'm hearing buckle down. Like, for some reason, this person values their freedom. And if they were to be in a commitment with you, I feel this energy of they're scared that their freedom is going to be taken away in some way, shape, or form. With this page of wands coming up, I feel like this is your person. They don't like to be held down by life. They're a very kind of fun, all over the place, very free bird type of energy. And I feel like when you came in, with this offer of stability, I almost felt like maybe they were a little bit scared that this was going to hold them down in some way, shape, or form. And guys, let me be real with you. What I'm immediately picking up from your person, they don't like for anyone to sort of control them, okay? They don't like for, um, they like to be in control. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they don't like the fact that you hold the key to their heart because this makes them feel like you have some sort of control over them. And I guess in a way you sort of do, but the heart wants what it wants. You know what I mean? Their heart wants you, but they're running away from this right now. I'm getting this heavy energy. They are running away from this connection right now because your person likes to be in control. And when they're around you, they cannot control how they feel about you. And so, yeah, I keep hearing free bird. They like their freedom. And right now I'm hearing they don't want to be tied down in a relationship. With this Nine of Pentacles, I feel literally your person has told you, I don't want to be tied down in a relationship. I'm hearing I cannot offer you what you're looking for. So you offered them stability. You offered them a commitment and they turned a blind eye. I'm hearing they like went away. I almost feel like when you were just flirting with this person, everything was going fine. They were okay with flirting or being passionate with you, but it almost feels like when you started talking about emotions, um, you know, this person got a little bit nervous. And I'm also hearing this person has trust issues. So they don't really trust that you feel this way about them. I'm hearing, why would anyone feel this way about me? So there are also maybe some low self-esteem issues that your person is working through. And they don't really feel like they're capable, I'm hearing, of being loved. So they, they, they don't even really trust what you're saying to them. Because no one's ever told them that before. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing you poured your heart out to a stranger. You poured your heart out to a stranger. Let's see. Let's clarify these. Okay, wow. Okay, they're thinking about it. Okay, the Four of Cups. They're thinking and contemplating about what you offered them. Look at this. The Four of Swords. They're kind of taking a resting period. They're trying to sort of figure out what they want to do in terms of this connection. They are spying on you or they know what you're doing right now and they're thinking about you a lot. They just have not come forward and communicated this. I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. They're trying to really tune into their heart space right now and figure out if this commitment is something they really want. And from the cards, guys, this is something that they want. They're just afraid to admit that because... I don't know, for some reason your person is like scared to give up their freedom, but look at this over here. You go from the Page of Wands to the King of Wands. You go from this immature person to a more mature person. So I feel like this person is gonna upgrade. I'm hearing I have feelings for you. So for some of you, this person is going to contact you with this King of Wands and communicate. Okay, there's a lot of passion that this person has for you. And I think they want to see this connection happen with you. Okay, let's talk about this King of Wands. This is someone who has a vision for the future. And with this coming up in your person's energy, they're going to eventually see this with you. Okay, if at first you don't succeed, try again. At first, they really didn't see you and them together. I'm going to be honest. They didn't see how it was going to work out between the two of you. So I'm not sure if there's a physical distance or just this person has some emotional barriers that they have to work through. Let me take a sip of my drink real quick. But I'm almost feeling like this person is going to come back. Um, and you know, they're going to be like, they're going to come back and say, you know, I think I could see this working with you. Like at first I feel like they were like, no, I, I, I want to be alone. I'm not ready for a relationship, but I almost feel like your person's going to come back with this King of Wands energy and they're going to be ready for a relationship. Okay. But we're going to do a whole nother spread on the future. Okay. So let's go ahead and clear. Wow. Okay. The two of cups in the reverse guys right now, they are not ready for 
like a real relationship right now. This is definitely their current energy. They have walked away from you. They've walked away from whatever you offered them because you offered them, you know, a two of cups. You offered them a relationship and they are currently contemplating whether they want to come forward or not. Okay. Um, they may be coming back, okay? I, I feel like they're gonna come back, okay? Because they're gonna realize the grass was not greener on the other side, and it almost feels like they're gonna come back. But guys, when this person comes back, they're not going to fully be ready for a commitment, okay? Because this is in the reverse. So they're not gonna fully be ready for a romantic, you know, relationship, but I do feel like they would like to start out as friends and kind of get to know you. It feels like this person is definitely wanting to go very slow, and this person is wanting to go very steady, okay? I am going to pull a few oracle cards on the current um, state of the relationship and kind of what's currently going on for pile one spirit. Okay, we have the twin flames card. Beautiful. So some of you could be twin flames. Okay, this does feel like a divine connection, guys. Okay, because it just feels like your person has so many feelings for you and it's kind of just like they're very up in their head and they're very up in their ego. They don't want to let down their heart wall for some reason photograph guys there's a lot of reminiscing there's a lot of looking back on photographs of you or guys they stalk you on social media and they are constantly looking at your photos but here's what spirit is telling me they watch you from afar but they don't get too close this person right now is like really really keeping a distance okay hand of cards to be with you involves some sort of leap of faith. To be with you involves some sort of risk. And I'm hearing this risk, they're not ready for it to be taken. Boat. Okay, so I almost feel like this person is just going very, very slow right now. They're moving towards you, but it's at a very, very slow pace. And I'm sure you can feel this energy. Love call. I feel like there will be eventually I feel like your person is going to express some sort of love right now guys they are so up in their head I'm getting the vision and they're just so up in their head contemplating this so much but I do feel like there will be an expression of love it just it's it's going to take a little bit of time okay but let's go ahead and tune in let me see if I can get a vision the future of this connection I'm hearing I can't live without you so Spirit is telling me this person is sort of going to get an epiphany or they're sort of going to come to this realization that they don't want to live life without you. Guys, they've never felt this way before about anyone in their entire lives. And I'm hearing you're so unique. When they look at you, they're just in awe of everything about you. They, they love you so much. And I don't think they've ever felt this way about anyone before. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. They look at you and they're just in awe. Uh, at the beauty. I'm here at the beauty. So I don't know if they called you beautiful before, but guys, they think you're absolutely gorgeous. I'm hearing I can't not be with you. So this person I'm hearing can run, Spirit is telling me, but they cannot hide. So they can run all they want from their feelings, guys, but they don't disappear. You know, as you know, they don't just go away. And so that's what's kind of happening. Your person right now I'm hearing is fleeing the scene. And what this means is they're running away from the connection, guys. But, you know, I'm hearing that song by Taylor Swift, Invisible String. There is an invisible string tying you to this person. For some of you, this is your twin flame or this is a soulmate or divine connection, okay? And they, they can't run from it. They just keep getting pulled back to you. I feel like this person has flirted with other people. Maybe they've been on a dating app. I'm hearing Tinder. Okay, maybe grinder. Okay, for some, but um, they they can't run from you as much as they want to try. They try to find you again. Okay, but they can't. You know what I'm saying? They try to find another person that's gonna make them feel the way that you made them feel, guys. But but they can't. Okay, and really, why they've disappeared? Spirit is telling me is they are gaining so much clarity on you, and they're getting so much clarity around this connection. Okay, this is honestly a very beautiful energy because I'm hearing if at first you don't succeed, try again. So 
I feel like maybe you came in a little bit quickly, you offered this person something very, very solid, and they got a little bit nervous, guys, okay? Why, why, why did they run from this? I want to try to get some specifics. They couldn't deal with the pain, okay? So for some of you, um, for some of you, this is a physical distance. This is a very specific message coming through, but for some of you, there is a physical distance here. And they, they wanted to be with you physically, but you weren't able to be with this person physically. And so they couldn't deal with the pain of not being able to see you in person. That's only for a few of you, but I do have to address that that message is coming through as well. I'm hearing, can it be easier? This connection is so hard for this person because they've never felt this way about anyone. For some reason... This connection is just so difficult because you're really opening up this person's heart space. And I feel like because you're opening this person's heart space up so much, you're kind of triggering a lot of healing within this person. I'm hearing shadow work. Guys, if this is a twin flame connection, there's going to be healing that takes place. And I, I don't know if this person is ready for that. Or you're triggering so much. I'm hearing the nine of wands, the nine of wands. So your person currently is on this healing journey. You have triggered so much healing within this person and that kind of freaks them out. I feel like maybe also you're a very spiritual person and maybe they're not. So they're not really able to see the divinity of this connection. So what's the future? Okay. We have the nine of wands. Was that here or there? I don't know. I'm going to put it here. The nine of wands guys. So they're worried that they're going to lose you as well. They're kind of hoping that they don't wait too long. I'm hearing, I hope I don't wait too long. But the future of this connection is this person's coming towards you, okay? And they're coming towards you very slowly and very surely. Look at this pinnacle. It's around the heart. And if you look, there's that green energy and it's kind of shining out. You're opening up this person's heart chakra. And I keep hearing, if at first you don't succeed, try again. So you may have tried with this person and, you know, you broke things off. But guys, they're coming back. I'm hearing the Knight of Wands. So at first, guys, this person was a little bit flighty. This person does kind of give that kind of hot and cold energy. They're very back and forth. Okay, as you can see, sometimes this person is very, very prepared to come forward. And then at other times, this person is very, very nervous and stressed out about coming towards you. I'm also hearing I'm scared what my family is going to think. I'm scared what my family is going to think. So for some of you, this person has to leave something behind and come towards you. So maybe there's a physical move or maybe they have to leave their family behind or maybe they have to leave friends behind to come towards you. But I'm hearing I would lose everything. So I don't know how that resonates for you guys. But this person is scared that if they're to be with you, they're going to lose everything they've known before. Guys, for some reason, like... Wow, okay, the Queen of Swords. This person is kind of going to rush in is what I'm getting, okay? This person is kind of going to rush in. Okay, let's see the future of this connection. Right now, guys, this person... I'm going to be real. This person is hard to crack, okay? They're very, very back and forth. There's like two energies coming forward. Sometimes they feel completely ready to come forward. And maybe they've told you this. Sometimes they're completely ready to take charge on how they feel about you. Other times they're setting a very firm boundary and they don't want to talk about their feelings at all. Okay, guys, right now they are not listening to their intuition. They do not see the divinity of this connection. And this is why this is probably so hard for you. Because you see that this is your twin flame or you see that this is your soulmate. And they are not able to see this. But with this card over here, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, they haven't yet realized that you're their destiny. I think they will. Slowly but surely. Okay? But guys... It's like they have not realized this. I feel like eventually they will realize that you are their destiny and they will come towards you. This person right now, guys, is healing a lot of trauma. This person right now is learning a lot of lessons, okay? So when this person comes back, I feel they're going to be very, very healed if they choose to heal their heart and heal their trauma, okay? Um... I'm hearing that song by Selena Gomez, and it's called Back to You. It's like, you always know that you're kind of going to go back to this person. So it's like, Spirit is telling me you're linked. You're kind of permanently linked. So no matter how much this person tries to set a boundary with you, to cut you off, 
they they can't okay and that's what they're going to realize okay so spirit is honestly telling me that this could kind of go this could kind of take years maybe because this person is a very slow mover so guys i would not recommend waiting on them because this is a very slow energy and you know i would never recommend to wait on someone the so spirit what's the future of this connection i'm hearing can we just talk you just want to talk to this person. You just want to have a conversation. Right now, you don't you don't even want a connection, you know? I mean, you do, but you're honestly ready to just talk with this person and get to know them, okay? And guys, let me be real. If you start talking to this person and they tell you, no, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. Well, you never said you wanted a relationship. It's because this person wants a relationship, okay? I'm getting a lot of energy of they try to put their feelings on you. They're like, oh no, I'm not ready for that. And you didn't even mention a relationship. They're the, one, they're the ones that want a relationship. I hope that makes sense. But it's like, um, it's almost like sometimes this person acts like you're the only one that likes them. And I hate this energy, but they like you guys, but they try to make it seem like you're the only one that has feelings. Like, oh no, I don't really like you that much. And they definitely do. Right now, they're just really not listening to their intuition. Okay, but let's clarify these. Wow, guys, they are absolutely heartbroken right now without you. Guys, they, yeah. Guys, something significant is going to happen in the summertime, okay? So either next summer, there's going to be something that happens, or maybe this summer, this past summer, something occurred, okay? I'm also hearing the pandemic has taken a toll on your connection. So maybe this is a physical distance and you haven't been able to travel, but guys, this person is absolutely so worried that they're going to lose you. Okay, I'm hearing, I don't want to lose you. I hope this never ends. Okay, Cornelia Street by Taylor Swift. This person is absolutely heartbroken. I'm hearing, I didn't know I liked you so much. So this person has walked away from you and they have since realized that they like you. I'm hearing, I want a relationship with you. So in the future, this person is going to want a relationship with you. Okay, in the future, this person is going to want a relationship with you. I'm not sure if this was in the reverse or the upright. I'm going to take it upright, guys, because I like to read the cards more positively. They're going to come back and want something solid with you, okay? Some of you might work with this person, okay, with the Six of Pentacles energy, but with this Earth energy, your person is going to want something stable with you. Now, the only thing that I'm not seeing in this spread or in, um, you know my clear audience or clairvoyance is emotions. This person has trouble with emotions. Guys, for some of you, this person has some family traditions and it's like, I almost feel like their family wants them to marry someone else. I don't know who this is for, but for some of you, there's like two other people coming up in your person's energy, but they don't really want these people. They want you, but for some reason they can't have you right now. That's only for some of you. But, um, I'm hearing it's easier for this person to have a nonchalant relationship because guys, think about it. If the, if this is a divine connection, this is going to trigger them. It's going to trigger them to heal their wounds and maybe they're just not ready for that. Look at this 10 of wands. Guys, they 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 can't do it without you. Okay? They're very very stressed right now because I feel like your person doesn't want you to move on. It's like they can move on from you, but if you start to date other people, they get butt hurt by this, which is honestly very annoying and it's very egotistical energy. But um this they think about you all the time, okay? They think about you all the time is what I'm getting. They think about you literally all the time. I'm hearing I want to message you. I see your person picking up the phone. Look, the chariot. Guys, the future. They're going to move towards you. Now, this is going to be different for everybody. Some of you, this is going to be a couple months. Some of you, this is going to be a couple weeks. Okay? They want to move forward with you. But for some of you, there are potential blockages within their family. Okay, there's something about maybe religion or tradition is why this person can't come towards you. For others of you, it's just because your person can't let down their ego or can't let down their pride. Okay, so let's get some messages from your person really quick. Okay, 
I'm hearing send me your location. So guys, this person's gonna wanna meet up with you for some of you. You're gonna meet to have coffee or you're gonna have a conversation over text or something. But some of you, you're gonna meet up with this person or maybe you are talking with this person. But if you are in communication with this person, I feel it being very on and off, on and off. Because this person, as I can see, sometimes they're very ready to come towards you. Other times they're not ready and then they're ready again. There's this very back and forth energy of I'm ready, now I'm not. I'm ready, now I'm not. There's this back and forth energy with your person. So let's see. Messages from your person. Messages from your person. Messages from your person. I have doubts. Maybe we aren't meant to be together. There could be some sort of physical barrier and maybe that's why they're doubting this. Sometimes they doubt the way they feel about you. Because I'm hearing pouring your heart out to a stranger. Maybe you met this person and they weren't like a family friend. So they're like, how do I like a stranger this much? Why do I love you so much even though I barely know you? And that's that twin flame energy. Okay, we also have my heart is bursting with love for you. Guys, what did I say? My heart is bursting with love for you. Let's see what else we have. Pile one, what would your person say? Messages from your person. Messages from your person. Okay, let's see. Messages from your person. Let's get like one or two more messages from your person. If it will fall out. Sometimes these cards are really hard to shuffle. Messages from your person. Gosh, I don't know if I even have any more. If only you knew how much I loved you. Guys, this person doesn't share the way they feel about you. If only you knew how much I loved you. I'm hearing I can't experience life without you. So I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm hearing I don't know where I'm going, but I know it's going to be a long time. So this could be quite a long time for some of you. But all I'm saying is this feels like one of those star-crossed lovers. You're teaching me so much. As I said, guys, this is a twin flame soulmate bond. So this person is learning a lot right now. And that's kind of why they're maybe taking their time because they're you're, you're triggering a lot within them. But guys, what this kind of feels like is if you can't be together now, you're going to be together eventually. I just have to be real with what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. It really feels like that star-crossed lover type of energy. Okay, so let me get one more. I can't express myself the way I want to. This person, that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on right now. They cannot express the way they, you know feel about you. So let's get one oracle card and then we'll move on to pile two. Some advice for pile one. Look at that teaching and learning. Look, the synchronicity. You're teaching me so much. I'm hearing a film screen. Maybe you went to see a movie with this person or something like that. Or maybe you've talked about going to the movies. Brilliant idea. This person's going to get an epiphany. It's going to be all of the sudden and they're going to come back into your energy. Okay, they're going to all of the sudden be like, I want you and then come back into your energy. Okay, so this was honestly a very beautiful reading. Okay, even if they're not realizing it now, it feels like eventually down the line, this person is going to realize how much they really like you guys. Okay, so pile one. Let me know if that resonated with you, okay? Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out my Amazon wish list. Make sure to check out my spiritual shop. If you resonate with the Amethyst Crystal Cluster, we do have some of these available on the shop, so make sure to check that out. And I'm gonna go to move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls. That shows pile number two or the Himalayan Salt heart. Okay. If you chose the Himalayan salt heart or the light Sears tarot, welcome in guys. This is your reading on the future of your connection. Okay. And what I'm immediately picking up on is I'm hearing this song by fifth harmony, miss moving on. You guys feel like you are healing a broken heart. I'm hearing I once was sad, but now I'm not like there's this energy of you moving on from your past. Okay. I, I feel that so strongly. I'm hearing the workforce and look at that eight of pentacles. I feel like some of you have been working on yourself or you've been working on your healing journey or you're just trying to focus. I'm hearing more me time, more me time. So it almost feels like there's some sort of an X coming up in your past that you have finally kind of gotten over. I'm hearing you've regenerated. So I feel like this person in your past really 
broke you down or broke your heart, but I'm hearing I can see again. Like there was a time when you had no clarity about what was next in your life, but I feel like you've been gaining more clarity lately. I'm hearing you have your groove back. Like you don't feel as sad anymore as you used to, okay? So what's going on here for pile two? Death in the reverse. There's a big transformation coming up for you. Okay, there's a big transformation coming up for you. I feel like this person in your past never wanted to move it to the next level. Like you were always there for them, but there was this energy of they were never there for you. Like they never poured their heart out as much as you poured your heart out to them. Okay, and I'm hearing like you're kind of over it. Like this person always kind of gave you, you know, their glass half empty. Like they never fully were there for you the way you were there for them. I really feel like I'm tuning into past energy. So what's going on here for pile two? I'm hearing the song Thank You Next. Guys, you're, you're moving on from somebody. I definitely feel this. It's been very challenging for you though. It's been very, very challenging for you. I feel like this person is coming up as being very controlling, very toxic, you know, maybe even a lot of hatred or a lot of like harsh words that they've said to you, okay? This feels like a very controlling person coming up in your past. And it's almost like it's been very difficult to end it with this person. Like I almost feel like you might have lived with this person. It just feels like a very toxic ex, okay? And it's like been very hard to break the connection with you and this person, okay? Okay, the eight of wands in the reverse. Wow. So, hold on, let me see what's going on here for pile two. Guys, I feel like you recently cut someone off or you recently stopped communicating with someone. I almost feel like this person cannot stand the fact that you're moving on from them. Like I see them blowing up your phone and you're not replying to them anymore. It's like they're trying to come back into your energy and you're like over it. And so spirit is encouraging you to set a firm boundary with this person. I feel like you have recently cut someone off. There's been a recent ending in your love life and this is triggering a new beginning, okay? This is triggering a lot of um, high vibrational energy. It's attracting more high vibrational energy into your love life because this person was so low in vibration, okay? They didn't see you is what I'm hearing. They never treated you the way you wanted to be treated or they never treated you with respect. I'm seeing a lot of disrespectful energy coming up. Look, six of wands, they never saw you. I'm hearing they saw right through you. Like they never saw you for who you were. They never saw you for what you needed. You know, they never were there for you 100%. They were only there for themselves. I'm getting a lot of narcissistic energies and this really drained you, okay? This really, really drained you. I'm hearing I'm a human being. This person sometimes didn't even treat you like you were a human being. Like maybe they said some things to you that were just, I'm hearing outright disgusting. So they said some things to you that really put you in a, you know, a lower vibrational energy. Like I'm, I'm getting a very, harsh kind of rude type of energy coming up they never treated you like with respect is what i'm getting here two of pinnacles i'm hearing the song i've been having a hard time adjusting so it's like you've had to move on from this person slowly but surely okay and i'm getting for some of you it's been i'm almost getting a lot of hermit mode type of energy like it, it's been hard for you to move forward within your love life. Like it's been hard for you to meet new people and meet new friends because there's almost this fear that you're going to be treated this way again. Okay. So it almost feels like your love life has been very, very stagnant. It's like you don't know how to move forward past this person because I almost feel like this person has caused so much damage. Okay. So you're kind of trying to just stay in balance the best you can. I feel like I'm almost getting this energy of just like, you're doing the best you can. Keep moving forward, you're doing the best you can. You know, you're kind of right now making some slow progress, but at least you're moving forward because it's very hard for you. I'm hearing to move past this person. Like I feel like this person caused a lot of emotional trauma or a lot of emotional damage and it's been hard for you to move on. It's like, I see you walking away but it's like this person keeps almost kind of tormenting you or taunting you or trying to bully you. Look, Ace of Swords, you've been very up in your head. 
very up in your head. I'm getting a lot of anxious energy, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. You know, maybe you're even having to work a lot lately and just trying to really balance out your schedule. It's like I'm almost getting this energy of you're trying to balance out your schedule and also heal your heart, okay? I'm hearing I don't know if I'll ever be the same again. Like this person almost took away a part of you that you're struggling to get back again because it almost feels like this person temporarily put your life on hold and you're having trouble moving forward, okay? Not because you like this person or not because you didn't want to get away from this person. I just feel like this person caused a lot of damage, okay? Um, let me get some oracle cards on what this energy is. I'm hearing my broken bones are mending. For some of you, this person physically abused you, okay? This feels some for some of you like an abusive person. This emperor in the reverse is someone who's very controlling, very manipulative, very like kind of narcissistic type of energy. And it's almost like they made you feel like you needed them to be worthy. Like they almost made you feel like you were not worthy without them. Like they made, they formed this codependent bond with you and they made you feel like you couldn't make it on your own, okay? I feel like a lot of you have been trying to maybe hang out with friends lately and just try to move on from this person as much as possible and try to distract yourself. But Spirit is telling me you're not gonna be able to distract yourself from this, okay? There is a healing journey coming up for you. Maybe you're in the midst of it, okay? I see you in deep contemplation here about how am I going to move forward? How am I going to get over this? How am I going to get over this pain? Because I'm getting a lot of heartbreak energy. Let me get one overall clarifier for kind of how you're feeling right now. And I know this is about the future of the connection. So if you came here about this person, this is definitely ending. Yeah, the four of cups in the reverse and then the seven of pentacles. I almost feel like there's this energy of how am I going to grow from this? Spirit is telling me you need to learn. There's a lot of lessons you're going to learn because of this. So they're telling me nothing happened in vain. Is that how you would say it? This was not a wasted part of your life. I almost feel like you think that you wasted your time on this person, but they're telling me this triggered a very big healing journey within you. And this is going to lead you on your path. As much as you don't see it right now, this person is actually whatever they, whatever damage they did to you is actually going to lead you towards what you're meant to do in your life. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. They're actually going to lead you towards your north node, okay, your true life purpose. I feel like some of you feel like this part of your life was wasted, like, oh my gosh, why did I stay in this relationship for so long? But Spirit is telling me this is sort of like a blessing and a curse. Like, I don't know, this is sort of going to trigger a new beginning, okay? So although this was a very harsh ending coming up within your love life, this is actually going to trigger a lot of healing within you, okay? And you're actually going to feel like... I'm hearing reborn again. You're actually going to be reborn. It's almost like this energy of the phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? I'm also hearing um, that Taylor Swift song called um, New Romantics. It's like, baby, I could build a castle at all the bricks they threw at me. So this person may have threw bricks at you, harsh words at you, but baby, you're going to build a freaking castle because of what they did to you. So I'm almost getting like none of this was in vain. I think that's how I'm, that the saying goes. It's like, this was not wasted. This taught you something. This shaped you as a person and this is going to make you stronger and more courageous, okay, moving forward in your love life and in your life. Now, spirit is telling me, you know, there is going to be a break here within your love life. There is going to be a break here, okay? There's going to be, look, the phoenix at the bottom. There is going to be this period where you're going to have to heal this. You're going to have to heal this because you can't keep running from this. There's this period coming up where you're going to have to heal your heart and then you're going to be able to get back out there and start dating again, okay? Guys, this person may come back. They may try to chase you and that's because their ego is hurt. Okay, their ego is very hurt that you walked away from them and they may try to come back into your energy is what I'm getting. This is definitely this person from the past, but I'm getting a very toxic type of energy. Like they almost like to bombard you and kind of get you off focus. Okay, so don't let them do that. I don't know who needs to hear that. Guys, what did I say? The phoenix rising from the ashes. This is going to change you as a person for the better. Okay, is what I'm picking up on. So... 
I'm getting this energy of your heart was broken and it's weird because you tro chose the heart crystal, but it's almost going to rebuild stronger. You know how they say when you break a bone, it grows back stronger? That's the energy I'm getting. They may have, you know, broke you down a little bit, but you're gonna grow back stronger, okay? And it almost feels like a couple of years down the line, you're gonna be thankful that this happened. This is really, Spirit is wanting me to tell you, a blessing in disguise. For some of you, this was an alcoholic, okay? And it's like, I almost feel like they used to yell at you. I'm getting a lot of yelling energy, like you used to come home. Some of you lived with this person. For some of you, I don't know. I'm getting a lot of low vibrational energy. Like this feels very abusive, guys. Okay, and I, I don't want to get too much into that. I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. For some of you, this feels very, very abusive. And I feel like this person left you in a very lonely spot. Okay, some of you could have been married to this person. Or this is just saying coming up in the future, you're going to remarry somebody after this healing process occurs. Okay, um, so let's kind of see the future of your love life and kind of what's going to happen with this connection. What's going to happen with your healing journey. I'm hearing never again. You are never going to experience something like this again. Okay, it feels like in the future, Spirit is telling me sweet, sensitive souls are coming into your life. Guys, this person... I'm hearing they taught you some very heavy lessons. You learned a lot from this person. I'm hearing I have to go now. You're, you're ready to move on from this person. Okay, let's see. What's going on here, Spirit? What's, what's next? The future. The future for Pile 2, Spirit. Please and thank you. The future. I'm here on Instagram. Some of you are going to meet somebody new on Instagram. Are you just spying on someone? Okay, look at this energy. Look at her looking out. You're spying on someone on Instagram. I see you almost meeting somebody new through social media. Okay, you're going to meet someone new and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, where was this my whole life? Okay, so pile to the future. The future energies. What's the future? Wow. There's a new, there's a fresh start coming for you guys. Okay. There's a new beginning coming up in love. There's going to be someone that offers you something very solid. Okay. There's a new offer coming in, in terms of your love life. The seven of swords in the reverse. Guys, they're telling me you're going to be able to be very vulnerable with this person. You're going to be able to tell this person what you went through in the past. This person is going to ask you you know, how are you? How are you doing? You know, this person coming up in your energy, whoever this is coming to offer you something in the future is going to be so sweet. They're going to be so sensitive and they're really going to ask you, I'm hearing they're going to ask you, how do you feel? So whoever this was in your past, they never saw you for who you were. They never asked you how you felt. They never really cared about your needs or your wants. And this person coming up in the future is really going to want to get to know you for who who you are and not the mask that you sometimes put on. Okay. Sometimes I feel like you try to act happy, you know, but you know, there's someone behind all of that hurt. And that's what this person is really going to want to get to know the person behind all of the trauma, the person behind all of the hurt. They're really going to want to get to know you for who you are. And guys, you may settle down with this person is what I'm hearing with this nest energy coming in. Okay. You're going to be shocked when this person comes in, okay? And what I'm getting here, this person's going to come in and you're not going to be quite ready for a relationship. This person's going to come in and I'm, I'm getting that you're going to want to kind of go slow and you're going to kind of want to go steady. Or maybe this person, I'm almost getting, you're going to tell your person, can we take it slow? And your person is going to be absolutely okay with that. But there is like a lot of trauma I'm getting that needs to be healed. Okay, you guys also could have some stomach issues is what I'm getting because I'm really feeling that. I almost feel like some of you are scared that this person is going to come back. Okay, I feel like this person, you're scared that this person from your past is going to come back in and hurt you in some way, shape, or form. Guys, don't lose faith. Don't lose faith in love. I feel like you guys are kind of losing faith and love because of this person. You feel like everyone's going to treat you badly, but that's not true. So don't lose faith. I'm wanting to tell you guys, don't lose faith in love. Don't lose faith in life. There's someone better coming and they're going to offer you something that you never saw coming. Okay. They're going to offer you a new beginning and something a lot more stable than what has shown up in your past energy. Okay. 
I feel like there's just a lot of healing that needs to happen. Okay, you guys are a little bit lost right now, okay? I feel like you guys are a little bit lost. You're not sure what's next, okay? Um, I don't know. I feel like this person hurt you very, very badly. And, you know, yeah, you're a little lost. Two of swords. You're, you're just not sure what's next in terms of love. Okay, I feel like you guys are feeling very broken inside, very lonely, very sort of left out in the cold, not sure where you're going next. Okay, I feel like this person really was a detriment to your self-esteem and your self-worth, and it's almost like you're, you're trying to figure out how to get that back. And I think you're going to get that back, okay? You're going to get that back. You're not going to feel like this forever. I feel like this break between this person, it was almost a little bit codependent or this person made you feel like th you needed them. Maybe you relied on this person for money or maybe you live with this person or maybe you were in a marriage and they made you feel like you needed them, like you couldn't be alone, you know, and you're going to get over this guys. You are going to get over this. It's almost like you're, you're, you're wondering, like, am I ever going to feel happy again for some of you? This isn't going to be for all of you, but you're wondering, like, am I ever going to feel happy again? You feel so stuck, you know, kind of worthless for some of you. But yes, you will, guys. Please keep faith. Keep faith in your higher power. Keep faith in spirit. Okay, guys? And, you know, make sure to rest. Don't rush forward too quickly in your next relationships because I do see that you do need to heal. Okay? Guys, everything that you've lost, I'm hearing, is going to come back to you tenfold. So whatever you've lost is going to come back to you. I don't know who needs to hear that. So if you feel like maybe, you know, financially you're not doing that well, everything you've lost is going to come back to you tenfold. Some of you, this person stole money. Okay, this person, I'm hearing they took everything I had. So I don't know who that is. Maybe some of you, this person stole money from you. Five of swords in the reverse. Guys, be careful, or not be careful, but... It feels like this could have been a marriage for some of you, or maybe you have kids with this person, but this person may come back and want to talk to you. Don't, don't let them. I'm getting this is not going to be very healthy for you. Don't, I feel like this person may try to come back. Don't, don't let this happen. Yeah. Guys, if you, you know, this person is going to try everything to sort of halt your growth is what I'm hearing. You're going to start moving on and you're going to start working on some creative projects and you're going to start getting your money back in order and this person is going to try everything to kind of halt your progress. Don't let them do this. Keep your faith. Keep your faith is what I want to tell you. Let's get one more card here. The chariot. Guys, you are going to move forward from this. This is the future. Okay, this is the future. You're going to gain balance again. So if you feel hurt right now, if you feel lost, be gentle with yourself, okay? Be very gentle with yourself because I know this is hard and I know you might feel a little bit confused right now about what is next in your life. But I see, um, I almost see like you're gonna take a little break from love and kind of work on yourself, okay? The Ace of Cups in the reverse, you know, this card can talk about just regaining your self-worth again and I see you doing that, okay? Um, so... Um, yeah, I feel like this is the future. You are going to move on from this. You are going to be able to regain your strength. You are going to be able to regain, you know, the self-worth that you may have lost, okay? I'm hearing I am lost, but now I am found. So let's go ahead and get some oracle for you, some advice about the future of love, the future because I don't see anyone and remember who you are. Guys, look at that. Remember who you are. What was I saying? I almost feel like this person may have taken away a part of you that you're having trouble finding again. Okay, but you will find who you are again. So remember, they did not take away who you are. They may have made it a little bit harder to find, but they did not take away you. They did not take away who you are as a person. So just remember that. Try to, you know, go deep within your soul and just try to remember who you are and why you came on this earth. And look, all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. What was I saying? I was getting a lot of that blessing in disguise type of energy. This is really a blessing in disguise and you guys don't even know it. 
peace. Look at that. All is well in peace. Guys, everything is going to be okay. Don't get up in your head. Don't get up in your anxious thoughts. Okay, don't do that is what I'm wanting to tell you. Okay, let's get some of these as well for you about what's next for you. Guys, I just want to tell you, like, remember every, look, thriving. This is that future energy. You are going to thrive again. This actually, guys, is going to make you figure out how strong you are as a person. I, you never knew you were this strong. And this is really going to show you, you really can go through anything in life and make it out on top. Because with this thriving card, guys, and with the draft coming through, try to look at the bigger picture. Right now, you might not see you know, the beauty in life. Right now, you might not see what's next for you, but try to just remain calm. Try to just remain focused and just remember that you're going to get through this and try to remember that, you know, just because you feel bad today doesn't mean you can't feel better tomorrow, okay, is what I'm wanting to tell you. Okay, so let's get one more card. Transformation. That's, this is literally, thank you so much, Spirit, for clarifying this. This is going to transform you as a person into a much better person, and you're going to figure out parts of yourself that you've never seen before, and this is going to just create so much abundance in your life is what I'm wanting to say. This actually, this pain and this hurt is actually going to lead you towards your life purpose. This is actually going to create a path for you. So if you feel lost right now, a path will soon form and you're going to know where to go next. Okay. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Just remember all is well. Remember who you are. Remember you are a beautiful soul. Okay. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, and um, I will see um, you beautiful souls on the next one, and I'm going to go to move on to pile number three. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number three. So if you chose this crystal right here, this gorgeous crystal, the Angel Aura Quartz, or the Celestial Tarot, welcome in, guys. This is your reading on the future of the connection, okay? The future of the connection. First, we're going to, of course, tune into what's going on currently. Um, and I immediately want to tell you, I am feeling like this is like someone from your past, okay? I feel like for some of you, this is like an ex of some sort, and I'm hearing you're, you're trying to like rekindle the relationship, or you're trying to see if the old spark is still there, is what I'm hearing, okay? So, um, I see your person being very career-driven right now, and I see your person being very, very focused on self. It's almost this energy of like, I don't know if your person is going to school right now or something like that, but they seem very focused on something. So I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if it's work or school, but there's there, your person's definitely very, it almost feels like they're very hyper-focused on something and there's almost this energy of I don't have time for love type of energy. I feel like you tried to let go of this person. I'm hearing cord cutting meditation. So I don't know if you did a cord cutting meditation on this person and now you're just kind of coming back and maybe going, well, maybe we aren't meant to be apart. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy, like almost trying to figure out, is there still something between us is what I feel is coming up here. So what's going on here, spirit for pile three and the connection. So you have the queen of cups in the reverse. So I feel like you shut something off. I feel like you cut a cord here with this person or I'm hearing you try to get rid of the emotions. Like I almost feel like this is definitely you're asking about someone from your past that you have recently broken up with or split. Okay. It's almost like, I feel like this is someone where you kind of, I don't know. It's not like you don't, I'm not feeling heavy emotion here. I'm almost kind of feeling like you popped in today's reading just to see if there's anything left between the two of you. The queen of pinnacles is also coming up here. I almost see your person being very, very focused on making money right now or so. Yeah. I feel like this was a previous connection. I feel like this is your ex. I feel like this is your ex. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. I don't feel like any of you have moved on to another person. Now, I could be wrong. You know, your person may be flirting with some other people, but I don't feel like your person is 
in another connection, okay? What I kind of see here is your person focusing on, you know, growing their finances or just growing in their own personal life. And I kind of feel like this is your person, Spirit is telling me, and this is you. You're also very focused on kind of growing your life. It almost feels like you guys are kind of headed in two separate directions. It, it doesn't necessarily feel like this was a very bad breakup. It just kind of feels like you kind of split because you were kind of headed in two separate directions in your life. Now, I don't feel like either one of you has really moved on. Okay, so with the Six of Swords in the reverse, um, that would tell me just neither one of you have really had another significant partner is what I'm wanting to tell you. I don't feel like... I'm hearing none of you have opened your heart up to a stranger. So I feel like both of you have been very closed off emotionally since the split. Okay, with this 10 of cups in the reverse, it tells me that this was some, you did have something with this person. Um, I don't know if it was a commitment or maybe you just shared some feelings with this person, but there was definitely something here. And it's like, for some of you, it almost feels like you ended this, not because you wanted to, but kind of just because you had to. Like, your person's life was moving in this direction, your life was moving in that direction, so it was just easier to kind of just disconnect. Okay, it almost feels like maybe it was too hard to kind of blend your two lives together. I almost feel like you guys live kind of two separate lifestyles, and maybe it was kind of hard to blend the two of those together. Okay, but we'll go ahead and clarify this. Um, what's going on here okay the three of swords okay let's see guys i do still feel like there is something here like it almost kind of feels let, let me get some more clarifying cards just to kind of see what's going on here you have the princess of swords in the reverse so what i'm wanting to tell you here is like your person has not moved on, okay, is what I feel like you need to hear here. Like, what's going on? You have not started dating anyone else, and I feel like your person hasn't started dating anyone else either. If anything, it just feels like your person is very, very focused on themselves, and it feels like your person is very, very focused on their career or their work, okay? Now, with the Three of Swords, I kind of feel like... Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like Spirit is telling me this is kind of your energy. I feel like you're kind of reminiscing on this person a little bit, wondering, like, is there still something here? You know, are there still feelings? Does this person still like me? And honestly, what I'm getting right now is, like, your person has not really thought about love lately, is what I'm wanting to tell you. That your person has just been so focused. I keep wanting to say that. Like, I just feel like your person has been, look, the Wheel of Fortune, I almost feel like your person has just been focused on their own abundance okay with this Jupiter energy and on their own direction in life okay and I feel like spirit is sort of telling you you should do the same because I don't think this person right now in this moment is going to want to like rekindle the connection okay I do see you feeling maybe a little bit heartbroken because I do feel like you had feelings for this person and you kind of had to like shut them off. And so I do see you reminiscing. I almost get a lot of reminiscing type of energy. Like you're kind of reminiscing on this person and you're kind of reminiscing on what you and this person used to have. I'm hearing, I don't know if I can do it without you. So you almost feel like you want this person back. I'm hearing the song, I want you back. Okay, I want you back. So I almost feel like you guys have started to think about this person. Yeah, Prince of Cups. I don't know. I feel like you guys have thought about reaching out to this person. I'm getting that strong energy of like you've thought about texting this person. Okay, you've thought about sharing something with this person. Or maybe you've thought about checking in on this person and just being like, how are you? You know, what's going on in your life? How are you doing? Is everything okay? Like, I do feel this energy of you maybe wanting to reach out to this person. Okay, and I don't think that's a bad idea just to kind of see what's going on with them. It almost kind of feels like, um, for this pile, it feels almost like two old friends rekindling. I'm definitely getting a lot of, like, this is somebody from your past, and you're wondering if you should text them, or you're wondering if you should call them, or you're wondering if you should kind of rekindle um, the relationship. Okay, so let me get a few oracle cards here on what's going on with this connection. Yeah, I feel like you want to talk to this person. I am getting this strong energy. You miss this person. 
the sword with the rose. Like you just want to see what's going on with this person. You want to just gain some clarity. Like you want to know, do they still have feelings for you? Because I feel like you have started to feel something for this person again. And there is this energy of you're kind of wondering, are they starting to feel this way about me again? So it's almost like I feel like you want to text this person to see if they're thinking about you too. Or maybe that's why you're in this reading because you're almost wondering, is my person thinking about me? You know what I'm saying? The butterfly. Look at this. Okay. It says relationship evolving. So you're almost wondering like, could you kind of come back together and transform this into something again? I feel like you once had a commitment, it broke, and you're almost wondering, can you rekindle the flame? But it's also like you're here because you're not sure if that's the right choice for your path. Okay, you're almost wondering and you're here is, should I move on from this person? So I definitely want to give you clarity on that because you're almost wondering, should I even text this person or should I just be moving on? It almost feels like you're wondering, is this the healthiest option to go back to this person? Do they still care about me? Do they still think about me? Okay, so we're going to see, okay, um, what's going on here? What is the future of this? I Let me throw a few cards on how this person is feeling about it. Guys, right now, I'm going to be honest, I'm hearing I could care less, but this person is not thinking, like, about love right now, okay? I don't know what they're doing right now. It feels like they're very focused on something, but how does this person feel about you? Okay, hold on, guys. This card just flew all the way over here. So, let's see what came up. We have the Five of Pentacles, so... Guys, I, I don't know. I feel like if you were to reach out to this person, I don't know if they would give you the response that you're looking for. <clears throat> because Spirit is kind of telling me you're kind of having some flashbacks, but they're telling, like, of this person and you're kind of reminiscing on it is what I'm getting. But Spirit is wanting me to tell you, like, ask yourself, like, do you really want to be back with this person? Or are you just kind of feeling a little bit lonely right now? It almost kind of feels like you're feeling a little bit lonely right now. And so you're kind of wondering, should I go back to this person? But guys, Spirit is really encouraging you to focus on your own growth right now. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. I also see somebody new coming into your energy. Okay, was this reversed or upright? This was upright. So... Your person right now is coming up as the magician, I feel. Very focused on manifesting something. They're very driven right now. I see them being focused, and that's what I felt from the beginning of the reading. And it feels like this energy of I'm working on myself right now. But I see someone new coming in, and I've got to be real with you. I see somebody new coming in, okay? Um... I feel like once you meet this new person, this old person is going to come back too. So I almost feel you guys having options. Like I don't feel like this person that you're referring to is gone forever. But right now I don't see that you could rekindle it. But what I do see here is you're going to have options. So this person from your past I feel like is going to come back. But it almost feels like you're going to have other options. Spirit is showing me that. Like, you're going to have other offers of love, okay, is what I'm wanting to say. And it's like, when you get this other offer of love, guys, watch. This person's going to come back. You have the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, here's what I see. Like, the minute you get somebody new, your person's going to come creeping back in like this little bear in the back of the card. That's what I see. But right now, your person is not very focused on this connection. I don't feel that energy. And Spirit also keeps wanting to mention, like, what do you need to be focusing on? They almost are mentioning something maybe creative, or they tell me that you need to do some sort of work. I don't know what this is, guys. Let me know. They're, they're telling me they need to get to work. They need to get to work. So it's almost like they're saying, like, stop fiddle-faddling around. I know that's such a weird word, but it almost feels like there's some sort of work you need to be getting done right now, okay? Um... It feels like this work could involve something with your soul purpose. I don't know. It feels like there is like work you need to be getting done right now, but instead you're kind of watching this reading, which is fine. But I feel like you're asking about this person because you're feeling a little bit lonely right now, but I feel like you're going to get over these feelings. Like, I don't, I think this is kind of like a one day thing. I don't know why I'm picking up on that energy and it feels like you're going to focus on growing your finances or... 
I don't know, doing some sort of work. I feel like some sort of work with this Ten of Wands energy, like you're gonna fo be focusing on career, okay? Especially with this Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're gonna be more focused on career than on love coming up in the next couple of months, okay? Um, but we'll definitely see the future of this connection and kind of see what's gonna happen here with you and this person. Yeah, like you're not working on something. It's like, I feel like you need to be working on something. I don't know why. It's like spirits telling me you need to be manifesting your life because it feels like the person you're referring to, they're so focused right now on themselves and your guides are wanting to tell you that you should be focused on yourself too. Okay, but I will get a spread on the future of this connection. So let's see. I feel like you just really miss this person, okay? I don't know, I feel like you're you're missing this person. Like, I see you looking at photos of them, you're thinking about all the memories that you had with this person, and you're almost asking yourself, why did it have to end? It's like you didn't want it to end. You know what I'm saying? You're like really, really thinking about them right now is what I'm getting. So what's the future, spirit? Please and thank you for pile three. What is the future? I'm hearing um, spirits say, didn't we tell you you need to go work on yourself? Like, I don't know. I feel like you guys are going to be very focused on yourself. Okay, I don't see anything happening in the recent future between you and this person. But spirit, give me that overall energy of like, what's the outcome um, for pile three? What is the outcome? It depends. I'm hearing it depends. Guys, there is a possibility with this person. Okay, I am feeling that. There is a possibility. Okay, the king of cups. Like, this person does have feelings for you. I feel like they would offer you something. They could also be a cancer. But it feels like right now, it's just sort of like you have to kind of focus on something else because for some reason, I feel your person being sort of like detached. And I don't know why that is, but I feel like your person might have told you, I'm not ready for a relationship or maybe I don't want a relationship right now. But for some reason, your person fit, look, 10 of cups. Guys, there is, I feel like you're gonna get back together. I don't know. I feel like this person cares more about you than they let on. I feel like this is definitely future energy. I think if you want this person, Spirit is saying you can definitely have them again. But it's just Spirit is saying there's no need to rush. Like, this person's always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're telling me there's no need to rush. Because I don't feel like your person has moved on. In my vision, guys, I see you focusing on something else. And then it's like your person is also focusing on something. And then it feels like you're going to come back together eventually when both of your careers are planned out. It almost feels like you work on your career, they'll work on their career, and then you'll come back together and meet in the middle. Let's see, the two of wands in the reverse, like right now your person isn't prepared to, to do anything, but I feel like future energy, spirit tells me if you want this person. So what that tells me is there are going to be other options. Keep that in mind, guys. There are going to be other options, okay? But what I'm getting with the seven of swords are some of, some of you are being strategic on like how you're going to get this person back or how you're going to reinitiate the flame. Some of you, I feel like watching really want this person back. And I feel like that is going to happen for you. But some of you, I do have to tell you, there are other options coming in. So six of wands, guys, you, you are going to be together with this person again, if you want to, because I do feel this energy of some of you might not want to be with this person again. Others of you are wanting to be with this person and spirit is saying you can be with this person. You can can reignite the flame, but it almost feels like right now there's no need to do that. You'll know when you need to reignite the flame and that's when you're both prepared. And right now I don't feel like you're both prepared in terms of your career and stuff like that. I feel like your person is very focused right now and I feel like spirit is telling you to be very focused so that when you come back together, you're both kind of ready for each other. Okay. So let me see what's going on here, spirit. What's the future? Spirit keeps telling me, well, what do you want? Well, what do you want? Like, okay. So 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. You could literally be getting married to this person and also you could be having children is what I'm getting. Guys, but it, spirit keeps telling me, they keep repeating, it's up to you, it's up to you. I feel like you guys have other options, like I don't know, I'm getting that strong energy, like you're, you, you have other options. And Spirit is telling me whether you want this person or not. You know, like, you can have this person, but they're also showing you can have the Ten of Pentacles with anybody. So don't feel like it's only this person because it feels like there are multiple directions that your love life could go in. Okay, I see multiple people 
offering you something. Now, if you want this person, I feel like you can have them, but there's also this energy of you could have this stability with anybody. So keep that in mind, pile three. This is very important for you to know that you can have a relationship with anyone they're saying. Don't feel like this is the only person, okay? So what's going on? Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. You guys, I feel like, are very attractive people. I feel like you have a lot of suitors or a lot of people texting you, which go you. Okay, I'm really feeling this energy, some bad bitch energy. And Spirit is basically telling me you can have anybody you want. And this is future energy. So coming up here, you are going to be, I'm hearing 10 cups. People are going to be offering you 10 cups, guys. You're going to have 10 people coming in with offers. Like I see people crowding around you, offering you something. And I'm hearing spirits say, may the best cup win. So it's kind of this energy of who's going to offer me the best, okay? Because right now, I feel like you're holding back your energy from people. Like I don't feel like you're committed to any one person. I feel like almost there's multiple options that are going to be coming in and you're kind of going to have to decide where do I want to give my love? Where do I want to give my cup? And that decision is really going to be up to you. Okay. There's a lot I have to tell you, and this is really exciting because there's a lot of choices and that's always a good thing in terms of love because you're not getting too attached to one person. And that's what I feel. The hero fit in the reverse. Yeah, you're not committing to anyone right now, okay? And then you have the moon in the reverse. I just feel like you're not sure, like, who to choose. And so it's almost like I feel like you popped into this video kind of wondering, well, do I want this person? You're just, like, trying to figure things out. Look, the sun. Guys, I don't know. Like, you feel so high in vibration. Like, I feel like you could manifest anything you want in terms of your love life. I don't know. I have to tell you guys that because you're in a state of power right now. You you like literally could get anyone you want right now is what I'm feeling. Like literally, you could have anybody you want. Like who do you want? That's who you could get. And Spirit is telling me whoever you came here for, like it's like if you want them, you can have them. You know, I'm hearing that song Seven Rings. I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. Maybe you guys are like getting some money too, like some cash flow. Because I don't know if you're getting a pay raise or you're just feeling very successful right now. But like you literally could get anything you want. So I'm going to get some messages from the person you came here for. Messages from your person. And then I'm going to get a few oracle cards. I feel like this one wanted to come out. Can we try again? What did I say? I feel like this is a, a, a you know, a rekindling something. So this person... Look, let me make it up to you. So this person has walked away from you. They are going to be coming back. You could have this person if you want them. Look, can we try again? Your person's going to be like, can we try again? And you're going to be like, well, I don't know. I have like 15 other people. I'll have to see. You know what I mean? I love this energy. You guys are like, mm, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Why are you so mean? Like this person's getting butt hurt because you're going to have other options. Okay, so I, I don't know. But it's like, right, this person's going to come back in your energy. Why do you like me is coming through. This person's going to come back in your energy right when you start dating somebody else. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. This person does have a little bit of pride. Okay, I am picking up on that. I'm scared of this connection. Let's see. This one wanted to fall out. This is too much for me right now. So that's what I said. I feel like your person just like doesn't want a relationship right now. But you know, whatever. Like that doesn't mean you can't move on. And I feel like they're going to get butt hurt for you moving on. But you know, it's whatever. You deserve to be able to move on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I feel like this person either did hurt your feelings or is going to. Because I feel like you're going to reach out to them. And they're not going to reply the way you want to. Or it's like you did reach out to them and they were like, mm -mm, I can't do this right now. I don't want a relationship. And I feel like maybe they kind of hurt your feelings. And now you're kind of here at this reading wondering like, why did they act that way? Is there still something between us type of energy? So let me get a few Oracle cards for you guys. Let's see. I feel you guys being very, look, not today. Like your person is like, not being receptive to you right now. Okay, watching, looking. I feel like you've been stalking this person maybe or something like that. But it's kind of like this energy of like you definitely like healing heart. I feel like you still like this person a little bit, but I also feel like you have more options coming in. 
and then you have acts, so breakup or a separation. So I do feel like overall what I'm tuning into, this is somebody from your past. They're not really wanting to reconnect right now. They're not really wanting a relationship right now. And you're kind of figuring out what to do next in your love life. You're not sure what's next. And Spirit's just basically saying anything you want to happen in your love life can happen. You guys are literally at a, a state in your life where you can manifest anything. So... Um, let me get one card for you from um, these two oracle decks. Let's get a few cards on some advice for you. I feel like you're going to move on from this person. I see you meeting somebody new. And it's like, I don't think you're going to be... I don't think you're going to want to go back to this person once you meet this new person. All is well. Yeah, like you're doing fine right now without this person. So, cycles. I feel like you're just kind of going through the motions right now. There's just a lot that maybe you're learning right now. You're, it's kind of a learning curve for you. And you're just like wondering what's next for you. Because I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself. And you're learning a lot about, you know, your love life. And then you have take back your power. So it's like, guys, you can have anything you want. And I feel like you're starting to realize that. I, I think this moon cycles means you're kind of learning how powerful you really are. And that's what the main message here is. is like you can kind of get whoever you want. So kind of, you know, take that into account. Now, if you want this person, guys, I do see it happening. But if you don't, that's fine too. Patience. So guys, be patient with your love life. Because I see things working out for you. Don't feel like you have to rush. Healing chaos clarified by cycles so I feel like you're going you're just learning a lot about yourself right now and you're just going through maybe a lot right now but this is helping you move forward let's see what else and there are other opportunities coming in I feel like one day you're going to wake up and you're literally not going to have feelings for this other person anymore and there's going to be another opportunity in terms of your love life. I feel like you're moving on from this person and moving forward, okay? You might still have a little bit of feelings for them right now, but I feel like I'm hearing spirits say they're going to dissipate or they're going to fade away. They're kind of going to just fade away because this person is almost going, I'm hearing they're going to leave you on red for too long. Like they're going to not come forward for too long and then when they finally come back, you're going to be moved on. Okay, I feel like you're going to be moving on from this person. Okay, that's just what I'm seeing currently for the future. That's the current kind of, you know, path that's going to be happening. So if you want to change that, you of course can. But that was the general energies that I picked up on. So pile number three, let me know if that resonated. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell um, so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, okay? Let me know if it resonated. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out my spiritual shop down below, and I'm going to go to move on to pile number four. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number four, or if you chose the selenite, okay? These are available in my shop down below if you want to check it out, okay? Or if you're just here for the reading, that's okay too. Welcome in. If you chose the Ethereal Visions Tarot, pile four. Today, we're going to be doing a reading on the future of your connection. Okay, so I'm first going to just tune into your energies of kind of what's currently going on um, between you and your person. Okay, so let's kind of see. I'm hearing you're never satisfied. It's like, you might talk to this person, you know, you might have conversations with them over the phone, but there's this energy of like, you never can like fully be with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel for some of you, it's like a physical distance. So you can talk over the phone, you can share things with each other, but you can't be with each other. Okay. There is this feeling of like, it's hard for you two to like meet in the middle. Like for some reason, it almost feels like even for some of you live in two separate parts of the world and it's like, you can't come together. There is this energy is there's some sort of blockage around coming together, okay? And we'll see what this kind of is. Let me see if I get any more intuitive downloads here. <sighs> separation. I'm hearing separation. So this could be a physical separation. This could be an emotional separation. And I'm also hearing detached. Okay, so someone's very detached emotionally right now in the connection. So I'm not sure who that is, but it feels like someone is very, very detached from their emotions. I also feel like your person is going through some family trouble is what I'm hearing. So, and I'm also hearing something about somebody's mom maybe passing away or something like that. So 
I'm not sure if your person just recently had a death in the family, but they almost feel like they're going through something right now and your person does feel a little bit detached. Okay, that's gonna be for some of you. But we'll go ahead and jump in. So what's going on here, Spirit, with this connection? Strength. Yeah, I feel like someone in the connection is having to stay strong right now. Like, I feel like someone you're going through a lot or your person's going through a lot and they're just trying to stay strong or maybe you're just trying to stay strong, you know, for your person. But it's also this energy of it's like you're not able to be with this person in the way that you want to be with them. So you're trying to just remain strong, okay? You're trying to just keep your head up because I feel like when you start thinking about it and when you start thinking about how much you love this person, it kind of can get you in a little bit of a sad mood. So you try to just stay as positive as you can in terms of this relationship because there is this feeling of I cannot have you the way that I want to have you. Okay, so let me know what this is. Okay, um, it, it does feel like that and it's like when you start to think about them, you get very, very sad. I'm hearing emotionally because it's like I keep hearing you can't fully come together, okay? So if it's a physical distance, it's like you want to be intimate with this person. You want to hold hands with this person. You want to cuddle with this person, and you can't, okay? That's going to be for some of you as well, but let's keep going here. Okay, this wanted to come out, the Ten of Wands. This is very hard for you right now, for you and your person. What's going on? You both are having some burdens around this connection because what I feel is like, you both want to be with each other right now, but you're not able to be with each other. Um, there could be like this energy of your families not liking each other. It kind of does kind of feel like that, like Romeo and Juliet type of stuff. Or just there's some type of block. What is this spirit? Let me see if I can get some intuitive downloads. What is this block? I'm hearing a period of drought. It's like there's no growth right now in the connection. It's like for some reason, you cannot make it work with this person, okay? So that's what's coming up here, but it's kind of burdensome for both of you. Like, both of you kind of feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders right now. And maybe this is because you both have different priorities and different obligations right now, and you can't make this a priority. You can't make this connection a priority right now, okay? So let's kind of see what's going on here, Spirit. What's going on in this connection? What's going on here? Okay, let's see. We have the moon in the reverse. It's like, I almost feel like you guys just can't see it through. There's just a lack of clarity on how you're gonna be able to make this work. There also could be a, a level of fear, okay, around this connection. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't wanna leave each other. You don't want to be without this person, I feel. But it's like you have to be. It's like you don't want to leave this person alone, but I'm hearing I'm being forced to. So I don't know if this has something to do with like your family or something like that or tradition, but it's like it feels like I want to hold you so bad. Okay, this could be physical distance, but it's like you want to hold this person so bad and they want to hold you so bad, but you like can't. This is kind of sad. Okay, um, let's see. What is else? But we're gonna get the future, guys. We're gonna get the future. So let me see, there's two cards that fell out down here. I'm just gonna put them back. Well, I feel like we need to grab them. Okay, four of pentacles and the chariot in the reverse. So here's what I feel, okay? Let's give a little rundown. I feel like you're both trying to just shut your heart off right now because you're trying to just not feel anything for this person because when you feel things for this person, it just becomes way too sad and way too depressing and there's too much pain. So you're really trying to almost, I feel, kind of just turn this off right now because with the chariot, okay, in the reverse, this tells me you can't travel to see one another or for some reason you cannot get to this person. I'm hearing I'm trying to balance out my life. Maybe this has something to do with like money, like you're not able to afford to go see them right now or something like that, or something. Or maybe there's just a lack of stability in both of your lives so you can't be with one another. 
You know what I mean? So I don't know. It just feels like one of those things where it's just like, if we could in an alternate universe, we would be together right now. But because life sucks sometimes, we're not able to be together. And this really, really sucks. So I don't know if this is your energy or both of your energy, but just kind of take what resonates. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, the two of swords and the two of wands in the reverse. I'm hearing you're feeling depleted. I feel like almost you're getting a little bit sad watching this because, you know, you think so much about this person but just can't figure out how to make it work or something like that. There's this energy of like, look at all of these cards, you know, the Ten of Wands, the Chariot in the Reverse, you know, the Four of Pentacles. It just kind of feels like very stuck right now and you just, you don't know what's next between the two of you and some of you are even questioning if you are ever really going to be able to be with this person okay i'm hearing in real life so i feel wow the fool in the reverse you can't start something with this person you can't start the relationship you want to with this person you can't you know do whatever you want to do with this person i feel like for a lot of you you want to be intimate with this person like i'm really getting drawn to this card like you want to hug this person kiss this person feel this person you know you want to feel their touch you want to bond you know physically and emotionally and you're not able to do that i'm hearing the curtain some of you need to open up your curtains i'm hearing like you're getting in a very sad mood maybe about this connection and spirit is telling me you need to open up your curtains i'm wanting to pull this card six of pentacles in the reverse some of you don't have the money maybe to get to this person or to support the both of you Okay, but there's just some imbalances or this connection right now is out of flow. And I feel like both of you, you might be speaking to this person, but I almost feel like both of you aren't speaking right now because it hurts too much. Ace of Swords, you're trying to gain some clarity. I almost feel like you're like looking up at the stars like, why God is this happening? You know, why do I love someone that lives miles away? Or why do I love someone that I can't be with? Why do I love someone that I can't move forward with? You know, you're trying to get answers, okay? You're trying to get answers, and I feel like you're going to get answers in today's video. Okay, let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. And so you're just having to be okay with being alone right now. You and your person. You're just trying to work on your own life right now. Trying to stay focused. Trying to stay positive. Because it feels like right now... You can't be together, okay? So let me get some oracle as well to kind of clarify this, and then we'll get like the future of the connection. So what's going on here? Let's see. We have healthy choices. You're trying to just stay happy and be happy because I'm hearing I don't want to get in my head again. I feel like sometimes you guys get very anxious and you can get up in your head sometimes, and you're trying not to do that anymore, okay? Let's see. What's going on here? What's going on here? photographed, looking at your photos, missing you. You, This person misses you. You miss them, guys. Addiction. Some of you are maybe even a little bit obsessed. They're obsessed too, guys. I feel there's such a strong connection here, but you have to leave it behind right now because it's too hard. The pain is too hard. Okay, we have love call and I like you in the reverse. So in some way, shape or form, you're not, you and your person are not able to fully express yourselves in the way you want to. And that makes sense if it's a physical distance, but if it's not, it's like, I don't know, maybe you want to have sex with this person and be intimate and kiss and hug and cuddle and do all of those romantic things that every couple gets to do. But it's like, I'm hearing you say this is not fair. And I feel like you're trying to gain clarity on why this is happening. Why is this happening? You know what I mean? Why? You know, in love call, I feel like you're only able to express yourself to this person through the phone for some of you. And that's very hard. I know how challenging that can be. I've dealt with the long distance thing before, guys. So I definitely feel for you. I know how this can be, okay? And if it's not long distance, there's some sort of reason. This could be so many things because it is a general reading, but it's almost like with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like trying to be comfortable alone. And I just looked at the camera and it was 11-11. So try to look for signs, try to look for hope, and try to look for positivity because that's what's going to get you through this. But let's see. I'm wanting to pull an oracle card real quick before we move on to the future. So let's just see. Patience. So although it's not working out right now, don't 
think that it can't in the future is what I'm wanting to tell you. But let's see. The future energy. And then also, guys, stick around because I also have some messages here from your person. But let's see. Spirit, give me a vision here. What is the future of this? Look what wanted to come out. I kid you not. Look what wanted to come out. The two of cups. You guys are going to be together. I'm hearing one last... One... What is that song by Justin Bieber? I don't know why I'm hearing this song. One Less Lonely Girl or something like that. Your person misses you so much, I feel like. And they hate that they can't be with you. And they hate that they can't give you what you need. You know what I'm saying? But let's see the future. Wow, look at that. Okay, I, two of, I feel like it's going to fall out, but we'll see. What is this? Okay, three of wands. You're tired of waiting. You just want to be with this person like right now. So what's the future? They're saying something about the pandemic, okay? So what I feel like is almost like you'll be able to travel to see one another after the pandemic. I almost feel like I'm hearing flights are stopped. So maybe you live in different countries and you're not able to travel to see one another. But I feel like almost they're, they're saying kind of give it a year. It feels like there's going to be a year where you're kind of separated and then there's going to, they're going to start to show up again and you guys are going to figure out how to make it work. I feel like you just need to stay positive right now. Let's see. We had the page of cups in the reverse. I feel like you guys are holding all your energy back right now is what I feel. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This is so many cards. Okay. You have the here of it on, you have the eight of pen. Something's not working right now. The connection obviously is just, you're not able to make it work right now is what I see here. You know what I'm saying? So I almost feel like both of you are pulling away. I feel this energy of both of you are pulling away because it's easier to pull away than to think about not having you. You know what I'm saying? When they think about you, they want you with them. They can't have you. So it's easier to not think about you. Excuse me. But it, you know, it's kind of like that in all types of situations, guys, you know, when, when you think about pain, it just hurts worse. So it's easier to just not think about it. Okay. You also have the hero fit, which tells me guys, this is you don't feel crazy. I'm getting for feeling this way about this person, even if you've never met them, because that's what a divine connection is. It's when you love someone without even really seeing them, you know, or their physical body. It's when you love someone based on the energy that they're giving you. I feel like you guys are connected spiritually. And then you have this empress for the future energy. There is going to be growth that occurs in this connection. This card can also signify marriage as well as the hierophant. So I feel like one day, guys, you will be getting married. Okay. And I'm hearing you're going to release balloons together. Okay. Or something like that. There's something about balloons here. I see a balloon release. So I don't know what that means, but I feel like you're going to get married one day or you're going to have some sort of commitment. And what this empress also tells me is just how much this person freaking loves you. They see you as the empress. They see you as being beautiful, abundant, radiant, all of the above. Okay, guys. So let's see. We also have the knight of pinnacles. So this person is trying to make their way towards you. Okay. They think about you. They think about moving towards you. They're just not able to do it right now in this very second. There is a block here. Okay. And right now I'm getting, they're kind of shielding their heart because again, as I said, when they start thinking about you and they start feeling things for you, it hurts them. Okay. Look, you have the sun. You make this person so happy. I'm hearing, sorry guys, I'm hearing ride or die. Like you literally, you know, are each other's ride or die. Like you are always going to think about this person. It even feels like when you try to move on, you're always thinking about this person. Okay. And this is a very deep reading, the eight of swords in the reverse. So this is future energy guys. You are going to be happy with this person. Okay. You are going to create something stable with this person. You know, you are going to have the commitment you want with this person. Just keep the faith. You're going to have to have blind faith is what I'm getting. Okay. But the Empress can signify marriage. You are going to be with this person. Okay. And I just feel like you're going to, you are going to be with this person. You're going to be able to figure it out guys. Okay. You can manifest anything. Okay. Think about the law of attraction. You can get anything you need or anything you want in your life in this very moment. And if you want this person, don't give up on that because the eight of swords in the reverse, it's not going to be so stuck in the future. It's not going to be so stagnant. It's not going to feel like you can't get to each other in the future. Now, remember this is future energy. So this isn't necessarily the next couple of months. This could be a year, a couple of years. I don't know. So kind of take what resonates. Um, I'm wanting to draw this card right here, justice in the reverse. 
I feel like some of you feel like the universe is treating you very, very unfairly right now, but you have to know that there is underlying order within everything. There is divine timing. You have to remember that. So if you're not together right now, there has to be a reason. Remember, I'm wanting to tell you that everything is happening for you, not to you. Okay, even the bad stuff is good, guys. Even the bad stuff is good. So let's see, the future of this connection. Death. It's not over, guys, but it's not able to transform in the way you want either. Temperance. Be patient. There is going to be balance and order. There, the divine is watching over this connection. If you're meant to be with this person, guys, look at that water flow. They're going to bring the two of you together. I'm hearing both of your cups are full for one another. So there is so much love from both of you, I feel. I feel this is mutual, okay? And I feel this is being guarded. I'm hearing a guardian angel. So, guys, you will be brought together, okay, if you have that faith. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to get some oracle cards, and we're going to get some messages from your person. I'm hearing I can't sleep at night. I can't sleep at night. Maybe you can't sleep at night either thinking about this person, thinking about what you could be. I watch pick a card readings about you guys. They watch them too. And I, you know, you're watching it about them right now, which is so adorable. You know what I mean? I watch pick a card readings about you. That is so freaking, uh, that is so cute. I don't know. I just think that's the most adorable thing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. You guys feel so much for this person. I feel like you feel at peace when you think about being with this person. Like they feel like your other half for some of you. What's going on? Or not what's going on. What would they say to you? Messages. Oh my gosh, there's so many guys. Sometimes these cards are hard to shuffle. Messages from your person. You're not doing enough. I'm hearing try harder. Try harder. It's like both of you are giving up when both of you don't want to give up. Your person doesn't want you to give up on them. They, they don't. I'll never love again. Guys, have you heard that song from, um, what is the movie called? A Star is Born. And it's like, I'll never love again. You know, like, you're the only person I'll love. I'll never love again. Because even when I'm with somebody else, you know, I'm thinking of you. That's what this feels like. And this is so beautiful. Because it's like... I feel like you might live at a distance and it's just like I see you guys dreaming about one another, both thinking about each other, okay? Maybe we need to take a break, okay? Maybe, you know, it's too hard right now. Maybe we need to take a break. Why are you in a bad mood? Well, maybe because you can't be with each other. Let me make it up to you and I watch you on social media. This person is watching you, but it, it's just like too hard I'm getting to talk with you and not be able to be with you. Let's get a, two more here. Guys, I touch myself and look at your pictures. Okay, okay. Um, I can't express myself the way I want to. There's so much more they want to tell you. They want to hold you and cuddle you and cradle you. And there's just so much more they want to do that they're not able to do right now. Okay, let's get another message from your person. Let's see, two more fell out. I hide my feelings from you. Because it's easier, guys. It's easier. Why do you like me? Why do you like me? It's like, why do you like me? We, it can't, we can't make it work, so why do we like each other? It's almost like you're both, or maybe you, maybe only you, I don't know, take what resonates, are both kind of calling out to the universe, like, why? Why do we like each other? You know, why not, why don't I just like the person that lives in my town kind of energy? I'm tired of chasing you. Will you ever stop running from me? This person right now may be running from this connection because as I said, it's, it's just too hard. Or maybe you're running from this connection because these are messages from your person. I'm tired of chasing you. It feels like your person is trying a little bit harder than you, but I feel like that's just because it's so hard. Okay, so let's get Oracle. Some messages here. Let me see if I get any more visions. They want to touch you. There's something about physical touch here that maybe you guys that look nurtured. They want to nur They want to hold you. There's something about wanting to hold you. They want to like be with you physically, if that makes sense. And if it's not that, this is only a message for some of you, okay? And then you also have courage. So it's like both of you are just having to stay very, very strong right now, you know? So let's see future. Look, divine. What did I say, guys? Divine order. Guys, if you're meant to be, spirit will bring you together. You have to have faith in that. 
okay? That's why you're here right now, to know that there is a divine order. Look, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Creative writing. Spirit is recommending you to write a letter to this person. Write how you feel. Even if you can't express the way you want to to them in person, write it on a letter. Okay, that will help. You have to be able to express yourself in some way. So even if you don't send them this letter or even if you don't tell them this, you need to get your feelings and emotions out in some way, shape, or form. Okay, um, let's get some of these as well for pile four. Embracing enlightenment and happiness. I feel like both of you are just trying to embrace where you're at currently in your life. Even though you would want to be with one another, you're just trying to make the best of like what you have right now. But I'm hearing Spirit say you're going to get the best of both worlds. So you're going to get happiness with this person. You're going to get everything you've ever wanted, but it, there is this feeling of you need to have a little bit more faith. So if you can take one thing away from this reading, guys, it's to be a little bit more optimistic and have a little bit more faith, okay? With, you know, the connection or just in your life in general okay because high vibrations attract high vibrational situations it's time to start seeing the potential if you keep saying this connection will never work well it's never going to work because that's how manifestation works you don't get what you want you may want this person but if you don't believe that you can have this person then you're never going to get them. You have to start believing that this can work. The minute you start believing that this can work, you're going to start to notice that it, it will work out for you. And that's just how the law of attraction works. Okay. Let me know if you want me to do a video on law of attraction, because I feel like this pile, you need to work with the law of attraction. If you really want this person, why are you getting sad about it? Go get this person. Okay. You can get anything you ever want. Okay. With the law of attraction. So maybe you need to work with that. Okay. So, okay, that is the reading pile number four, okay? I hope that resonated. I do see a future between the two of you, but it's this feeling of it's going to take work. Like, if you guys are going to give up, then, you know, it's not going to work. Okay, let me get one more card. I don't know why I want to get one more card. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. It's very hard for you right now. So I'm sending you guys so much love and light, okay? Just try to embrace the moment you're in, okay? Try to be as happy as possible because happiness attracts happiness, okay? You know what I'm saying? So if you resonated with this, please let me know down in the comment section. Um, I will also be doing some videos where I film my face coming up soon. I kind of want to go back and forth from um, filming the videos with the table and then also filming my face because I know some people like to see the cards and some people don't really care. Um, if you resonate with this selenite palm stone, these are in the shop um, linked down below. Make sure to check that out. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's also going to be linked down below. And check out my Amazon wish list. And I will see all of you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye, guys.